Today, we're going to be adding a fuel tank to the Ultimate Fighter Jet. Let's get started. So as you guys saw in the intro, we were flying, but we don't actually have a fuel tank. We had to have infinite fuel on to do that. So we need to put a fuel tank somewhere in here, and there's not really a whole lot of room. Like, we can't put fuel in this wing right here. There's just not enough space. I mean, realistically, we could, but not in Stormworks. As you can see here, I kind of made like a little bulge in the wing, but that was mainly for the landing gear, but the landing gear is not using like all of it. So I'm kind of thinking some parts in here, we could um, put some of a fuel tank in. So right now, we're basically just removing all the extra blocks, and I think we have all the extra blocks blocks removed so now we're going to fill up as much blocks as we can and i'm using wedges right here to fill up as much space as we can and like block off all the air pockets so no fuel leaks out so we're just gonna keep dragging our blocks across it like this and hopefully this doesn't leak anywhere because if it does this will be really bad there we go so now we have like these little pockets that fuel can actually run through but it's not definitely not enough that's like maybe a couple liters of fuel not even maybe so we definitely need more let's see where we can add more at so we have to block it off at this landing gear part here so we'll have to just put a block here and we're gonna do that so we're gonna block it off with the landing gear and then over here is actually where our fuel tank area is gonna be so there's a whole bunch of room in the actual back compartment some of you guys did say to put like a cargo ramp back here i don't think this is the type of plane to do that in but the next time i do build a plane we're gonna do like some type of passenger jet and we'll have like some type of cargo compartment so let's see what we should do for this fuel tank um we're gonna grab some more one by one wedges probably just block it off right here see how this works so we're just gonna block it off from the main seating area up here and then should this be our logic compartment just back here um uh, maybe it'd probably be easier so the back seat person right here could just turn around and repair it yeah we're gonna do that i think but this entire area is not gonna be a fuel tank that is way too much fuel for a plane like this um we probably could do that but absolutely not but then we're just gonna block it off here so no fuel leaks and now we decide how far we want this fuel tank to be back so we could probably do something like this i feel like that'd be a decent sized fuel tank and then it's still on the other wing so now we need to grab a what's it called a fluid spawner so let's go ahead and grab ourselves a fluid um spawner i think this is what it is nope a uh, fluid meter yeah we'll need one of those too so this right here will detect how much fuel we have but we're gonna be smart about this so missiles normally hit your center of mass so our center of mass is right here so we're gonna put our fuel thing at the top right here as far away from it as possible so if a missile does hit we still have a fuel reading uh sensor at least and then we need the fluid spawner so we're just gonna type in spawner and there we go and i think these engines are jet so you have to change this uh instead of diesel to jet fuel there we go perfect all right so now we should have fuel but now we need to connect the lines up what i mean by that there is some uh inputs on the engine here and we have to somehow run this um fuel line to the actual fuel port and that's probably going to be nearly impossible here okay so since the fuel line's like right here nope that's like the airline um where's it at is like right all right so the fuel line is right here we're going to delete all the blocks leading down towards the fuel tank then we'll delete oh this is going to be super hard guys okay this is probably going to look really dumb but we'll try fixing it as best as we can so we'll just have to line it out of the actual fluid rps or not fluid rps Yes, the fuel tank intake there. And we're just going to try lining it down the best we can without having too much of a distraction on the outside, which clearly is not going too well. See, look how much that bulges out. That is definitely an issue. And you know what? I might have a simple fix for this. So let's get rid of this mess I just made over here. And we'll just click the back button. So it brings it back to normal. And we'll just copy this entire engine right here and then click L a couple times until the fuel thing is on the correct side. So until the fuel thing is like right over here. Hold on. I'm trying to get a closer view. So once we click L another time, there we go so now the fuel actually angles the correct way and this shouldn't affect like the jet engine really at all so let's see if this works there we go we've rotated the engine let's see where the fuel intake part is at now so is this the fuel one yes it is perfect and we'll just have a pipe run straight down that line there and then it'll actually have to end up turning right here which that's completely fine and it'll go straight into our fuel tank wait that actually wouldn't work i don't think all right so we just did a whole bunch of stuff off screen here not really a whole bunch but let's go ahead and line this pipe so we have to grab a pipe and it has to be enclosed so no fuel actually leaks out so a pipe that goes straight i think we just need a straight pipe for now and at that corner right there it will start to angle um sideways and once it's sideways it'll go sideways again and then once it's sideways it'll just go straight up from here and then flatten out and then it's going to be a straight away straight into the fuel tank and then right there we will put a fluid port and this will end up working so let's show you guys inside the fuel tank show you what i did so i kind of like diverted the path of this okay, we still have a hole in the fuel tank we'll just fix that real quick no problem at all guys okay hopefully this all works Works. So let's go ahead and grab a dial in here and this will be our fluid display for our fuel tank of course it's not going to look like this um permanently this is just everything i'm putting in here right now is just like for now you guys know me um if you ever see my building it's really messy in the beginning because we're just trying to like see if everything works uh we're going to connect the fluid level to that and we're just going to make this uh called fuel all right we're going to spawn it in see if it works and we're going to turn off infinite fuel now so this definitely should work here fuel uh negative 16 and then we're going to try starting our engines I don't know how we have negative fuel 
fuel. That kind of concerns me. Is there actually no fuel back there? Hold on, let's go check. Yeah, there's no fuel in here. What in the world? Okay, so there must be an open leak in here somewhere. Did I really leave a leak in here? I don't see any like actual leak. Unless it like somehow leaked to the landing gear. What about in this room right here? I'm not seeing anything. Okay, let's just run through the pipes acting like we're part of the fuel system. Right here is the issue. Okay, so that's part of our actual engine here. So if we delete this, this actually just leads straight to the outside and that is our leaking point right there. Okay, so it's good that we found that. That probably would have been found either way. So we're going to block this off with that block right there and oh, another fuel leak over here. Okay, we'll block that off too. Okay, so now it should be all clear. Hopefully, let's see if this works. Oh gosh, fuel tanks are so complicated and now our fuel tanks still at negative. Okay, let's go in there now, see if there's any fuel. Wow, okay, so I'm still missing something. What in the world? Okay, so what I'm going to do now, just to make sure the engines aren't the issue leaking fuel in, um, we've completely cleared them out, so it's fine on this side, and let's, oh, I didn't have symmetry on. Maybe that, okay, yep, that's definitely the issue. Okay, I turned on symmetry and redid that. Now it should be perfect. 37.5. Okay, perfect. That's actually really good. Okay, we're going to start our, end. wait, guys, look at the weight. We're leaning towards the back horribly. This is not good at all for a plane. Um, What can we do to fix this? So we already have some Bertha barrels basically in the front of this thing. Let's just add a couple more. I really don't like adding these because it's super dumb, but I guess we have to. Okay, we just added two um, Bertha barrels or whatever they're called. Um, Let's see. Oh no, it's just barely enough. Okay, we need to add just somehow a little bit more weight. Um, we can add just regular weight blocks. Let's see if this works. Um, It'll have that dot in the middle, but hopefully that isn't an issue here. So we'll just put like one right here. Will this work? Um, Just a couple of those. That doesn't look too bad. I think that'll work. And we do have some room down here for more of those weight blocks. So we'll just fill this up. I don't like doing weight blocks, but we, guys, we have to. This is just too much weight in the back of this plane. And it makes sense because our wings are kind of facing towards the front or the back. I mean, actually, no, they're not really. It's just our landing gear. Our landing gear placement is really all that matters here. And it's kind of going towards the front. But let's see if it works now. And now the weight is perfect. Okay, it's not that good, but it's still leaning towards the back. It'll work. Though. Okay, we're going to be starting our engines here. They are starting. We're going to put it on full throttle with our up and down. And now this fuel level should start lowering once these engines actually start here in a couple years. They are not starting for some reason. Oh my gosh. You guys want to know why it's not starting? Look at this. Hold on. I'm going to delete these blocks right here. What does this one say? It says RPS. This one says fuel. We connected it to the wrong actual pump. Oh my gosh, guys. This is going to be a lot harder now that we messed that up. You know what it shouldn't be? We just have to change the course of the pipe. So we're just going to do that and put the other angled pipe like right there. That's completely the wrong way. Uh, we have to have it be this way. Perfect. And now we need a straight pipe. Oh, I just hate doing this plumbing stuff. There we go. Now it should work. Okay, now the fuel is kind of at a lower level and uh, it's starting. There we go. Engines have started. Okay, so now we have a working fuel line. Finally. Oh my gosh. Let's see if this thing can take off now. We're on full throttle, by the way. Okay, we're moving. So that means we have thrust is working and we're going to start rotating up and that is awesome. This thing does eat fuel, but it's really slow. Like that is really slow for a jet like this. Actually, it's kind of going faster now what in the world. Okay, this is me on max speed right here. It's going to, oh gosh, guys, that's like two minutes of flight. Okay, so definitely not on max speed ever. And our pitch maneuverability is like really bad. So we're going to be adding three of these fins in the back here. And I don't know if it works in like an airtight compartment. So we have to put like a hole somewhere. So we'll just go directly under the fins right here and put like one or two or three or four like that. We'll make it look better. It's just for now. So let's go ahead and connect these fins right here to the same as those. We'll go to that node right there and connect it to all three of those. And now this thing should pull up much better. But if it doesn't, I don't know how to really fix this, guys. I'm not good with jets at all. Um, Yeah, that's just how it works. Okay, so an issue we're already having is that the top fin right there, same with the second to the lowest ones, actually going through the bottom or the top part of the thing. And then if we pitch it all the way down, um, it doesn't go through the floor, which is definitely what we need. So those all work, which is good. Um, Let's take this thing off here. So now we're on full throttle. Here we go. We are clear for takeoff. Hopefully we do not crash. Okay, so now we're going to start pulling up right now. Ooh, our pitch control is like really interesting. Okay, so it does work really good now. Okay, that's all that matters. It's working really good, actually. I can say that. But um, we are starting to lose it the faster we go, which makes sense. And we just crashed. So let's probably fix something. So we're going to get rid of this top one right here. And I think we'll keep the bottom one. I think we'll just keep two for now. And we're going to add some buttons in here to make this actually look better. I don't know if I did this on the last plane or the last video we did on this plane, but um, it kind of like didn't save some of the stuff we did. So we're just going to add an additional throttle right there. And then our up and down is connected to it. So where's up and down right there. So we'll just connect that straight to our new throttles. Perfect. And then I want a button that we would press. So we're going to do number two or uh, number four. That'll work. Number four, we'll turn on auto hover. So we're just going to do um, AT for that because auto hover means AT. Okay, sure. But here we go. We are taking off. Look at our pitch control. It is so bound. So uh, our pitch doesn't work when we bring it all the way down. But if we like slowly bring it all the way down, I don't know, guys, this pitch control in this game. So we are having issues with our gyro as 
as you can see. So for pitch control, we're going to do 70%. For roll, we're going to do 80. And for yaw, we're going to do 80 also. We don't want it to be on one because for some reason it like um, when it's on one, it doesn't actually do anything. I don't know. It's a weird Stormworks glitch. I don't know if that's how it works in real life either. It might. I don't know. But here we go. Clear for takeoff. And now we can fully pull up and it actually does pull up, which is great. And same with roll. Um, we are currently rolling. Okay, a little bit slow of roll, but we'll try making that faster. Uh, as you can see, the pitch control is not working, trying to like put us downwards. Guys, I don't know what's going on. This is very annoying. Let's see how we can fix this now. So once again, this is just for now, but we're just going to be adding a couple of these fins back here. You know, just a couple. So I don't know why this isn't working and I'm kind of doing some last resort options currently, if I'm going to be honest. So we're just going to have to do some stuff like this. Okay, so we've added just a couple more control fins. Hopefully our pitch works a little bit better. It works good pulling up. It just doesn't work trying to like angle us back downwards. And I couldn't even imagine how hard it would be if we had the engines under the wing because our center of thrust, a lot of you guys were telling me to do that, but I just knew that wouldn't work. So that's why we didn't do that part. Um, but let's see. So uh, it's a little bit bouncy, you can say. And now if we try angling it down, it kind of works. It's still like really shaky. I don't know what's going on with this, guys. The in-game gyro absolutely sucks. Um, I don't know how to fix this. We'll just have to deal with it for now. I don't really know what to do. But now we're going to make it so we can actually bring the landing gear up without having to like do it on the outside of the plane, which you uh, really can't do when you're on the flight. So we have this little microcontroller here that will do that for us. So we're going to put two of these here just because we have um, the landing gear itself and the actual landing gear compartment. So, okay, so what do we want to control this? Um, which one? So those are the landing gears and we'll do that. And then when it's on, it should go to plus one. So when it's on, it goes to plus one. Which one did we connect it to? That one. Okay, so on goes to one. When it's off, it goes to zero, I think. Oh yeah, I can't forget we have a front landing gear. So we're going to bring that to that one too. I think it's the same number. So we'll just do that. Okay, so now we have these doors. So there's these two doors on the side that close once we close the landing gear, of course. And what button do we want to close the landing gear? Let's do number two to close the landing gear. That'll work. And then we'll label it on here and we'll just name it uh, gear. Perfect. And then we're going to spawn it in and go in here. Click number whatever. So number two should close our two landing gears with our hatches. Oh, okay. Um, It does close, but it's uh, interesting. Okay, so it looks like we need to add a delay. So the um, actual landing gear doors close after the gear so it doesn't crush it in. So a delay will go there. And then these two close the doors, right? I, yeah, it does. Okay. And then that'll delay to that. And then this will delay to whatever I just connected it to. Which one was gear again? Okay, it's number two. So now let's try this again. Let's have a working landing gear this time. So number two, it should close the gears first and then in a second. Perfect. So just like a millisecond later, it closes the doors, but it looks like we have kind of like a gap going on right here. I don't know what's going on with that. Is it just not able to close? Yeah, so it's basically just crushing the landing gear in. Um, I don't know if we can actually fix that issue, guys. Well, I'd say we did it the best we could for now, but look at these control fins here. They just kind of like pop out. We're going to even it out using this block here. I forgot we made everything gray, so we just have to make it kind of lighter gray color. Okay, that will not work on the end there. Um, how should we do this? Maybe we'll just have it like really aggressively even out with this. Um, it's going to be blocky but that'll work and it looks like our engines have just exploded on us we're actually pretty high hold on let's kind of like turn up let's kind of make it daytime here so uh as you can see we can't get out of the aircraft we can't open our canopy but i think that'll be a future video guys but some of you guys are saying add an ejection seat you know in this video's comments if we should do that that would be a lot of work because i think we'd have to put all the um actual controls through like some type of composite signal uh you'll see what i mean if we actually do it but let me know in the comments if we should do that of course that's probably going to be it for this video let me know what we should add next to this thing and how we should fix our pitch control because it's definitely a little bit broken but yeah make sure you guys like and subscribe hit that bell join the discord link is in the description but thanks for watching and goodbye